Hi everyone, uh, my name is Maggie Rayland. I am the Professional Development Manager in the Block Career Center and I am so happy today to introduce Amanda from JobScan. Today we're going to be talking about JobScan, hearing a little bit more about Amanda's background and, and really diving into why this is a great tool that's available to all students and alumni at UMKC. So I want to turn it over to you, Amanda. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, what you do at JobScan and what brought you to the company? Of course. Thanks so much, Maggie. I'm so happy to be there here today. Uh, so as far as um, what I do at JobScan, I am one of our university partnership managers. And what brought me to JobScan is I was really excited by the idea uh, that I could make a difference in people's lives in my career. So the mission of JobScan of giving power to job seekers really drew me in. In terms of my background, my educational background, I was a double major in dance and English at Skidmore College, uh, which is a small liberal arts college in upstate New York. Um, after spending about a year in journalism, I made a switch to business development and partnerships. In particular, I have worked at startup companies uh, that were launching new divisions to help them grow. So in my first business development role, I was at a consulting company that specialized in helping organizations in the social impact sector think about ways that they can grow through uh, the design thinking methodology. And uh, at that company, we worked with, company, uh, with clients like Black Girls Code um, and Neighborhood Trust Financial Partners, uh, really organizations that are focused on social impact in some way. Um, and I'm so happy to be a business development and university partnerships manager at JobScan, where I help to bring on new partners figure out what our offering was, um, and also help our partners succeed once they're on board with us. Awesome, thank you. And what an interesting background. And I think you're sort of the perfect person then to talk about why it's so important to tailor your resume and your application materials, um, especially if you do get an undergraduate degree in something that is maybe related, but also somewhat unrelated to the, the career trajectory that you ultimately want to, to go down. And so that's, that's very cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Can you tell us a little bit more about JobScan and why it's such a great tool? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, well, first of all, JobScan is an AI powered resume review tool that can help you land three times more interviews. Um, but if you think about why it's so important, um, when I was job searching, especially when I was like looking to make a switch and a change, um, I got a lot of like automatic rejection emails from companies that I was like super excited to work for. And I, was, I found that experience super disheartening. Um, and JobScan is a tool that can help um, uh, sort of avoid that process by personalizing and tailoring uh, the application to that particular company. Um, but it also takes into account um, something called applicant tracking systems, which are the software systems that are used by most employers uh, that will basically filter out resumes and applicants as they apply through the process. Um, that's where those automatic rejection emails come in. Um, maybe I didn't have like the right word in my resume uh, that was a qualification for this role. Um, and so that's really where JobScan can help uh, you stand out among the crowd and make sure that you're putting your best foot forward when you're applying for jobs that you really care about. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of applicant tracking systems, I think it's something that students know maybe a little bit about, but maybe not a ton about applicant tracking systems and how they work and and what companies are using them. I think it used to be that we kind of assumed just the really big companies were using applicant tracking systems, but in order to optimize recruiting and placement, I think that even smaller companies are now using applicant tracking systems. Can you speak a little bit more to ATS and, and how JobScan can really help students kind of beat those applicant tracking systems? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Um, broadly speaking, so when I started at JobScan, which was just like two and a half years ago, um, only 90% of Fortune 500 companies were using applicant tracking systems. And now, two and a half years later, 99% uh, of Fortune 500 companies are using applicant tracking systems. Uh, so even within those uh, big, bigger companies, um, 
the growth of applicant tracking systems has been tremendous in the past few years. Uh, and to give some context, you know, JobScan is a startup company. We have about 20 employees. We use an applicant tracking system as well. When we post a software development role, we get, you know, hundreds of applicants. Um, so it's it's just a, a easy way for us to identify uh, who are the top candidates that we should really be talking to. Uh, so they are growing in small and medium-sized business segments as well, um, and especially, um, or not especially, but even within uh, startup companies too. Um, and so in terms of what you need to know about applicant tracking systems for your resume, JobScan, of course, is like designed to help with that. So the first thing to do is uh, scan your resume in with a job that you're interested in applying to, and JobScan will give you that feedback on what you can do. Um, but in terms of keeping it general and giving some actionable tips, uh, the, the best practices are uh, for formatting, you want to keep your resume very simple. Um, so you don't want to use like columns or tables, things that you might think would be helping your resume to be more visually organized will actually work against you because these systems can't read the information properly if they're uh, specialized in that way. Um, and then from the content standpoint, the most important um, piece is making sure that you're really speaking the language of the employer and uh, including in your resume the experiences that will be important to them. Um, and so JobScan can help you identify those like keywords is something that you'll hear a lot about, the keyword optimization. But that just means, are you including the skills that the employer is actually looking for as a qualification for this role? And those will be uh, the two top best practices. Keep it simple, include the keywords. I'm so glad you say that about the formatting because I, of course, you hundreds and hundreds of student resumes every year. And it's a conversation that we have all the time about, you know, why you might not want to use color or columns or any sort of even little icons for, you know, your email address or, or anything like that, mm -hmm. you know, anything that could potentially throw off an applicant tracking system. And I think that, that we all sort of talk about how, you know, applicant tracking systems are, are great in some ways, but they're not as smart as they could be. So they can't, you know, read every nuance um, every formatting nuance of a resume. So I'm glad to hear you sort of back up the feedback that we give that, you know, you know, people usually are not turned away from a job or an interview because their resume is too boring. Um, but you very likely could get turned away from an interview or, or never get the call because your resume got kicked out of the ATS because it was too graphically complicated and the software just couldn't read it. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to know what some of your favorite features of job scan are. I, my favorite feature of job scan is absolutely that you can put in the URL of the job and um, almost all the cases that I put in very rarely has it not recognized it, but it can tell you which applicant tracking system that company is using and then tailor the feedback that it gives you based on that applicant tracking system, which I think is probably the coolest feature of job scan, but I'm sure you have features that you really like as well. So I'd love to hear what your faves are. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that one up because I actually didn't have that one on my list, but that is um, a very cool feature uh, that we have, which um, taps into our proprietary database that matches employers to like the specific applicant tracking system that they use. Um, so some other features that I love of, at JobScan are first um, is Power Edit. Um, so our Power Edit tool is basically like a live resume editor. So of course, like the core of our tool and where we really got started is on generating that feedback for you on how can I improve my resume. But it was really just like a list of red X's and green check marks. And uh, you had to sort of like open up Microsoft Word and um, make the changes separately. Um, but Power Edit uh, made it so you can actually make the changes directly in JobScan. And uh, we do it in sort of a fun way where you can see your score improving in real time. and. Uh, I, I like to see and feel that impact as I'm doing that. Um, and we try and give as much context as possible to, you know, like uh, giving example phrases to help the writing process for a bullet point. Um, so I really love the Power Edit tool. And of course, you can export the resume to a PDF or a .doc um, when you're done. So you can just like 
it's ready to apply. Let's go. Um, and uh, just on that note, we do recommend um, dot doc actually for most um, applicant tracking systems. Uh, so that that is the safest format and what we recommend. Um, PDF is okay with most, um, but especially yeah, definitely those two formats. No other formats uh, would we recommend. Um, I also want to share about like two new features that we've launched just. Um, in the landscape with everything the way that it is today uh, due to coronavirus we've uh, iterated really quickly and launched some new tools that are helpful uh, now so the first is called our career change tool and what that does is allow students and job seekers to upload their resume into job scan um, and without a job description and we will identify uh, your top transferable skills and suggest some career paths that might be a good fit for you, um, perhaps other than what you have been doing before. Um, and this is, you know, a lot of people are gonna be thinking about their careers at this time and like, do you actually like what you're doing now or what else could be a good fit? And so uh, this is a tool that we just developed that I think is, is really great. And even, you know, for like freshmen or sophomores who might be using JobScan, maybe they don't uh, know what they want to do yet, or they don't have a specific job description, this can help um, those students identify like, hey, this, this, oh, I hadn't thought of that. This could be a cool path for me. And then we'll link specifically out to Indeed, uh, where you can look at those jobs that have that title. Uh, so I really, really love that. Um, and another feature that I wanted to highlight, which is new, it's not even a feature that's like in JobScan, it's just a tool that we developed uh, to help people right now. Um, it's our company still hiring tool. Um, and so that um, is a list of companies that are still hiring uh, right now and also has some details about companies that have that are on hiring freezes. Uh, so really just um, there's a lot of you know misinformation out there and we're trying to collect um, the most up to date and accurate information and we have over 10,000 companies that are still hiring on that list. So wanted to point that wow. out. That's so cool. That that first one that you mentioned of your new tools sounds amazing. And as someone who does coaching, that's going to be something that I definitely utilize um, in my appointments with students when we're having conversations about what potential careers um, that they might pursue. So that's really cool. Um, and that's great that you guys are developing that list of employers that are still hiring. Um, I know on the higher ed side, you know, we're looking to the Chronicle for that information. And I know there's a Twitter account that tracks internships and what, you know, is happening with happening with internships this summer. So it's great that you have developed a tool uh, to show employers around the country who are still hiring. I know that that's, of course, such a an anxiety point for students right now as they're getting ready to graduate. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. So last question um, before we, we get off this video here, um, just advice that you have for students. You know, it's, as I said, it's, it's an anxious time for them, especially those students who are getting ready to graduate. Obviously JobScan is a great tool that they can use to help them really tailor their applications. And I will say JobScan can also scan LinkedIn profiles, cover letters, you know, it's not just resumes. And so really you can use it in a holistic way to make sure that your application mm -hmm. is on point before you apply. But what advice would you have for students who are, you know, getting ready to exit college and are job hunting right now and, and some tips or tricks that they can keep in mind? Yeah, and I, I think that uh, with with jobs get in mind, like I think the job search is a, it's, you need to take a holistic approach. So um, my advice actually is um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, so when I was graduating in 2013, the world was not um, nearly as in like a challenging place as it is now when it comes to job search. But nonetheless, um, I, I did not have uh, a job upon graduation. And I reached out to um, my alumni network for my college, which uh, was available to me through career services. Uh, and I had reached out to uh, someone who I had, you know, like passed. Uh, in throughout uh, my English major, uh, but never really like had had too many conversations with this person. I noticed that he was a research assistant at uh, one of my favorite news magazines called The Week. And so I reached out for like an informational interview with him. 
uh, we met up for coffee, um, but now you know you can meet up for Zoom coffee, that works too. Um, and we, we talked and uh, I ended up um, stepping into a paid internship role, which turned into my first full-time role um, at, at the week. Um, so that was, um, you know, it's sometimes hard to ask for help or like, they're like, oh, they're not gonna remember me. They're not gonna know who I am. Um, it's especially in this time where um, it is so um, challenging and uncertain, I think like more than ever people want to help um, if they are in a position to. So uh, do not be afraid uh, to, to um, reach out to, to folks who um, you might find their background interesting, you just wanna learn more, you like their company. Um, people are more open than you might think. I think that's great advice. I think networking in any way that you can right now, of course, it's mostly going to be virtual, but setting up informational interviews, just reaching out to even friends of friends of friends to kind of just talk through what they do and if their companies might be hiring. I think everyone wants to lend a helping hand right now. So, you know, come see us in Career Services, of course, and as alumni, you have full access to our office, but I think that's great advice, Amanda. And just as some Quick logistics, uh, how to access JobScan um, as a UMKC student, you will go to jobscan.co um, and it's as easy as creating an account just with your UMKC email address and then you will have the premium version for free, which means you can scan as many resumes, cover letters, uh, your LinkedIn profile as many times as you want and um, that'll all be taken care of by career services at UMKC. So, um, and your account will stay active as long as you use it. Uh, and if at any point your account goes inactive, just give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll make sure to get you back into the system. But as long as you're using it consistently, you will stay live and active and you can use it forever. So, well, thank you, Amanda, so much for chatting with me today. We really appreciate it. Um, we can't encourage students enough to use JobScan. It's one of our absolute favorite tools that we have available to them. And I really do think that it has helped so many students um, for the last year or two that we've had it really maximize their potential and their application materials and has helped them score those sought after interviews. So thank you so much for being here today. And yeah, everyone take care, stay safe and healthy. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks.